I think he saw the big chasm between the haves and the have-nots. And he walked steadily in the middle of that, trying always to draw it together. When he first started, he was alone. Next time he had another person with him. Next time there were about four or five. And after that, it just grew. So that he, in a way, almost played the part of a conscience. He, he didn't preach to you. He didn't try to proselytize you. He just spoke his mind, and, and it was always involved with Christianity. He just felt very strongly that he was a messenger. He was patterned in a kind of a road that said justice and peace and equality. And uh, the, the militancy of, of the youth that gathered around um, Ammon and saw what he was doing is clearly important and working to alleviate the suffering that goes on both in uh, executions and starvation and uh, injustice. Almost he reminds you of one of the um, uh, uh, Jesus followers. And I think he saw himself that way. We miss him.